and oh dave Boom. oh dave we're back for another episode of granny's house welcome back everybody welcome or welcome back to another uh yeah welcome just in general mm -hmm. to another beautiful beautiful episode of granny's house we're here at the daydream studio live but not live because we're totally alone actually yeah um in life and at the pod shoot but on a happier note we're here with uh with dave my co-host yeah yeah man tell him what's up dave what you um, been up to bro yeah man everything is up the sky uh my morale is up um the funds are up i'm stacking up dough um shit man everything's good life is good um i feel good yeah so you're rocking your uh you're on your daredevil vibe right now yeah you're man on your uh cyclops vibe right now yeah i feel like cyclops from uh x-men that's beautiful yeah that's beautiful what, what's your favorite x-men um x-man or x-woman it's got it it's got to be mystique mystique because huh? she's literally every every X -Men. would you want her power though i would fuck wait what what would you oh what did yeah. you say what was the question who would you want her to turn into, though? <laughs> I'd want her to turn into Mystique. You'd want so you'd want her to be blue. Yeah, I'd clap her blue cheeks. Really? In real life? Yeah. You know that would be pretty exotic. That'd be pretty exotic. Might be into that. I wonder if she can. Can she turn into things you think that like don't actually exist? Like what? Like an alien or something? Because she just like Ooh. think of something, or does she have to see it? You know what I mean? That that'd be really interesting. This is a total tangent, just unrelated yeah. to anything. But um, Mystique, turn into the cure for cancer. Real yeah, quick. don't take those off, or you're gonna blow up the the whole studio here. <laughs> Scott, no. <laughs> All right, I don't think I'm gonna go cans. I was I was considering going cans, but mm -hmm. I don't think I'll go cans this episode. So, you know, we're here. We're here on a beautiful, hot, hot July Texas day. Ooh wee. It's hot outside. Record breaking what's, temperatures. What's, uh, what is the temperature right now? I would guess 106. What's your guess? No, the weather. The weather on my laptop says 96. Oh, Ain't it is no also. Way. Yeah, it's also 11. Oh, it's noon it's now. Noon. It's noon. Yeah. Okay. The weather app on my phone mm -hmm. says 97. What's the and high you know today? What? I think that's propaganda. Cause ain't no way. No, the other day I, I I was working and it was it was torture. It was absolute torture. The um, I'll pop up a picture right now. The thermostat in my van at work, it's at 127 degrees in there. <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? That's not even safe. I don't even make $18 an hour. <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? You're risking your life. I'm out here. I'm about to have a heat stroke and there's a fly on the cable right now. Are you kidding me? I don't uh, even know if y'all can see this right now. That's past the fourth wall. He, he really wants to be part of this pod right now. So bad. What you got to say, little dude? Now this dude's straight chilling. I'm gonna leave him be, or I'm gonna leave him fly. <laughs> Give it to me. Here we go. Give it to me. I love it. Um, yeah, we're back. You know we back. We got to hit him real quick within the first five minutes with uh, bam, bam, boom. Intro. With a with a good one. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, we got some stuff for him today. We we got some stuff. We, we got have a, a couple little, treats. We we got we got we got a few. Things, a couple right? tricks. Um, you done anything exciting recently in the past week or so? Any adventures? Any? Oh, actually, um, uh oh. So this is crazy. Uh, my ex girlfriend tried to get back with me. Um, I broke up with her, and she tried to get back with me, and I was like, "No, <laughs> you're delusional." How long ago did y'all date? Um, you, I think you met her. Oh, her. Yeah, her. Yeah, she was here for uh, episode one. She was here for the first pod. I don't know if uh, I think maybe she she helped us once or something. But yeah, yeah, you were like nah. Yeah, no. It'd be like that. It'd be you like know? that. I gotta focus on me. Hey, for all the kids out there, exes are exes for a reason. All right. Why'd you break up in the first place? Why'd you break up? Think about that. Mm -hmm. This fly, bro. No, he really wants. You to know, I need bug assault. You seen yeah. that? You seen Bug Assault? Is that the gun? It's the salt gun, bro. For these motherfuckers. You know what? Hold up. Get him. Fucking get him. Quiet. The predator. Oh, I stunned him a little bit. You see, he had a. You whacked him? You oh, whacked hold him? Hold up, hold up, Fucking smack him. Fucking smack him. This guy's. Fucking smack him. I'm like Poe right now. Fucking smack him. I'm going to get this angle. Oh. 
No, I hit him. There's no way that didn't. Uh, I made contact. The right? bounce back. Yeah, Did you see that? I, saw, I literally that, that saw your contact. hand. That's a warrior right there. You know, hopefully he's just not going to come back. To be honest, yeah. Like, Get out of gonna, my he's grandma's gonna go back house. To his homies, be like, yo. What the fuck? He has like a big bump on his head. Yeah, like one of those like cartoonish cartoon. lumps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, y'all would not believe what just happened. I was just, I was trying to chill in this podcast, be part of the episode, and yeah. uh, flying around minding my own business. I got whacked. <laughs> you know, kind of what we're talking about animals. Um, here, I found, I found this. This is actually this kind of cute. Oh wow! So did you, you know, like uh, chickens' heads are just like super stable yeah like gyroscopic yeah literally literally um let me see here do we have some uh is there audio for this we gotta name him bro is the fly back we gotta name him he's i have a strong ass um, like right jab i'll punch the fuck out this fly right now i'm gonna let him live okay check this out so yeah they're like gyroscopic you move them around or whatever whatever yeah um, you don't really need audio for this, to be honest. But they attached a camera to a chicken's head. Oh, wow. What the heck? They attached a camera to a chicken's head and look at that. Look at How the stable. stability. And using it like a camera, bro. Who needs a GoPro? You don't need a GoPro. Just bring your chicken, dude. Strap a camera to that motherfucker. Take off. Get him his little helmet. Look at that. Motherfucker got a Cerebro on from X-Men. <laughs> bring it all back around. Hey, He's getting all the angles. That's Professor X right there. Look. Hold up. I, I gotta I gotta find the because it really looks like the Cerebro helmet. Hold up. He's locked in. My fucker locked in. <laughs> Let's see. You know, the, bro, that's Cerebro right there, dude. No, that's that's actually insane. Yeah. You ever seen that before, though? Did you know that? I think uh, I think owls. Oh no, they can just turn their head all the way around. Right? You know, another pretty stable too. I'm sorry. Another fun thing about chickens, um, if you draw a line in front of them, oh yeah, they they get stunned, right? They'll, they'll literally just, like, just be paralyzed. Like, dude. insert clip here. Chickens are dumb as fuck, bro. <laughs> Why are chickens so goddamn stupid? You know, chickens need to grow up, bro. They just need to grow up, live in the real world. Um. Yeah. That's why they're making the fake chickens. Bro. He keeps flying in my field of view, and I swear, <laughs> I know he's flying in front of the cameras. No, we got spiders in here, too, bro. I crushed, I, I killed a couple spiders earlier. Granny needs to fucking clean her need, house. She, what? Needs to, she needs to get some raid in happening? this bitch. Keep a, keep a can of raid under the fucking kitchen counter or some shit. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm about to go off. About to go off. I'm about to, <laughs> there's about to be some domestic violence. Oh, the homegirl abusive. Yeah, bro, abusive. The homegirl me- domestic violence. Yes, bro. And some, we're gonna flip this furniture over. Domestic violence. Um, but yeah, moving on along here smoothly. Um, we got Elon dumps. Um, so this is actually happening in Texas. Okay. Big Texas news right here because mm-hmm. you know Elon moved over here. So, you know, I think he, he he's in Austin, whatever, setting up camp over there. Yeah. He, I think they uh, he names the town, like, SpaceX, Texas, or something like that. D- like, does he have his own town? Yeah, like, he bought the whole town. It's not called SpaceX, Texas. It's called... Um, oh, God. Elon Musk moved to Texas, and uh, he's setting up camp. He's going to start his own little cult, dude. Is he really? I don't know. You said he bought a town, so... Yeah, like no, seriously. That, that's, I think uh, Disney did that. Didn't Disney do that? They, like, bought... Or, no, I think they oh, just... Oh, Florida. I'm pretty sure Disney just built houses at Disneyland. Okay, Elon Musk's town is called Snailbrook? That's not what I thought it was called. Maybe he just bought a town that was already called that, and he has yet to change the name. He's going to call it fucking Heaven's Gate, bro. Heaven's Gate. Oh, Starbase, Texas. That's what it was supposed to be, where he launches his rocket. And people are going to live there? Heaven's Gate? This is fucked. Heaven's Gate. <laughs> Stargate, Heaven's Gate. You, you see what I mean? You see the, the parallels here? <laughs> He said, yeah, we're just going to uh, launch into space, and they're going to come back in seven days to retrieve us. Shit, no, wish, no dude, way. We've talked about that on the pub before. I wish. <laughs> I swear. I swear to these people. Would you join a uh, cult? Would I join a cult? Yeah. Um, well, it really depends, bro. Yeah? No. Um, You know... I guess if they indoctrinate you, it's like... Well, you know, a lot of a lot of religions start as cults. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but... 
Um, hold up, everybody. I'm trying to. They, they people don't like it when you use ad blockers, so I'm pissed <laughs> off. But pretty much, okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Texans sound off against Elon Musk's horrifying plans for dumping the border company wastewater into the Colorado River. Now listen here, brother. <laughs> you're gonna come to my land, and you're gonna dump your dirty water all out, all into my river. Get that shit out of my river. Look at this fool, brother. Look at this fool. He wants to come over here and take a dump in my river. All of his damn waste no, but, water. You know, for, for real, though. I mean, let's see. I, 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 wanted to, I didn't read too much into it, but, um, yeah, facing criticism from Texans over its plan to dump uh, treated wastewater. The company applied for a permit to dump 142,500 gallons per day last year. One resident said about 400 people showed up to the public meeting on the boring company's plans. What do you think he's dumping? I mean, um, it's I waste. Mean, it's, it's dirty chemical water, I assume. I don't know. It's wastewater. Yeah. Just put it in the... Put it in the river, bro. Put I it mean, in the river. <laughs> see, this is the thing, though. Where else do you put it? I mean, you can let it... You can put it in the river. You can let it soak into the ground. I was going to say, let it it's, evaporate. It's, like, like, it's dirty water, though. I don't know. There probably is some kind of treatment thing you could do to it. It's too expensive. That's what they're going to say. Burn it's it. too expensive. What about our ozone? What about our ozone? Burn it? Just burn the water. Just burn it, yeah. Let's dry it out. Turn it into burn steam. It. What could you do here? Look at reuse it. Chemical reuse reactions. The... Diffuse it. Let's see here, though. Elon Musk's uh, tunnel building venture, The Boring Company, is facing blowback from Texans who are speaking out against his plans to dump treated water into the local water supply. See, that's the problem, because it is the local water supply. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So They're drinking it. Yeah, they're drinking it. So, you know. Well, Chemicals. I mean, our, we're drinking it, right? We're in Texas. I don't live in Colorado. Well, no, the Colorado River's in Texas. Oh, no. We, do we need to pull up another map this week for you, Dave? Hey, brother, look, that's <laughs> enough maps. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. I, I actually am kind of curious. Ah, damn. Where the Colorado River is? Where the Colorado River is. So... Let's see where the Colorado River is, right? And here we are. We're here with a map for Dave. And now I'm confused. This is the Colorado River. I think maybe I look like an idiot. Because the Colorado River looks like it runs from the Rocky Mountains down to the Gulf of California, right? I would appear so. So it seems like it has nothing to do with us. I think it's because he's located in Texas. He's like, hey, why are you taking all that nasty water and dumping it in Colorado? They're just like being considerate about <laughs> Coloradians. <laughs> hey, we care here in Texas, yeah. okay? Um, we'll take the water. Let's see. The Boring <laughs> Company applied for a state permit last year under affiliate name Gapped Bass LLC. Ooh, loopholes. He's trying to go under a different name, huh? What mm -hmm, are you trying to hide? Mm -hmm. What are you trying to hide? Um, so open... Let's see here. Philly name Gap Bass LLC to dispose of about 142,500 gallons of treated water per day, per day, from its facility in Bastrop, Texas. There it is. Yep. There it is. Into the Colorado River. Wait. Okay, now... They're driving wait, it over there. Well, now, I'm a, now I am a little confused. Okay, so it says... I'm going to look like such an idiot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Bastrop, Texas, into the Colorado River. So... Would that mean, where's Bastrop, Texas? Now I'm confused, brother. I think they're just like loading up all the nasty water and taking it like on a little drive, like in their U-Haul trucks no. or their Tesla trucks, just driving. I, and that, then, that's a lot of money to, to put it, to fill it up with trucks. That's 142,000 gal 142,500 gallons of water. What's that? Like five diesel, diesel trucks? I don't know. And then also... I don't he know. He has a lot much. of money. I mean, yeah, he does have a lot of money. But I don't know how big a, a gas truck is. I wonder, because that's per day. It's probably a few. It's probably a few. On Tuesday night, several local Bastrop residents gathered at a meeting with TCEQ, no idea who that is, and the Boring Company to give public comment 
on the company's wastewater disposal permit after local citizen chap ambrose launched a blah 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 keep it okay keep bastrop boring okay mm-hmm, mm-hmm. wow real exciting so yeah this cold is gonna pop off for sure you know kind of makes sense that they would be the complainers huh you want to be boring oh yeah oh wait keep bastrop boring it's the boring company yeah wait wait i think something just clicked for me the boring company Uh right boring as in not entertaining right yeah but what does the company do look dude illegal things no do you know what the boring company does um he said that that's where he does like elon musk's tunnel building venture the boring company do you know what boring is drilling through something bore drilling a hole through the boring company boring company because they be boring insert the definition of boring i can't believe that that light bulb just flicked on in my head i just clicked too right now i'm not gonna lie wow you know Sometimes I just need to take a moment of silence for myself. <laughs> just even in private, I'll be there and I'll have a realization. And I'm just like, you know, let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment. Soak it all in. Soak it up. But yeah. So <laughs> Elon Musk is uh, taking a big dump on Texas, okay? Mm-hmm. And I'm pissed. I want clean water, brother. And I'm not going to stand for it. He's going to ruin my Ozarka. You drink Ozarka? No. What's wrong with you, dude? I don't drink any of that stuff. What the hell's wrong with you? It's natural spring water. You think so? It's not treated bullshit, okay? The it's only water spring. I drink is liquid death. And it's Texas-based, Sponsor too. us, please. Liquid death is overrated. Sponsor us, please. No, uh... No, I love, have, Evi- have I love Evian and Fiji. Evian and Fiji are my favorite waters. Evian and Fiji, huh? Yeah. Wow. You know, I tried Evian for the first time recently, and it was, uh, you know, I, I'm one of the people that I'm like, it's water. I drink, I be drinking tap water. Yeah. Okay? I drink Ozarka, mm-hmm. and I drink tap water. But you tried Evian. But I tried Evian. It, it did taste a little weird, because I'm also one of the people that is like, oh, it's water. It all tastes the same, whatever, uh-huh. you know, but. Um, you didn't like it. No, it was weird. It was, Evian was weird. Evian, Evian. Yeah. Every Evian. time every time I drink Evian, it's like from the French Alps, bro. Every time I drink this bottle of water, I'm like, it feels this like it's it feels so, like it's so like smooth. Like it's water, right? But it's so smooth. It's like, I feel like I could chug the whole bottle like right there. I'm like, I don't, you I don't want to stop gulping. You, you shouldn't. I'm you shouldn't. like, fuck, this is You should good. just like, fill yourself up with water. Yeah. You know, I, I've wondered what it looks like inside, you know, when you're just filling up with water. <laughs> yeah. But uh, have you ever drank so much water and then you go like this and you can hear it? You can it? hear it. You yeah. can hear it slosh around <laughs> inside of you. Um, no, but Ozarka is the way, bro. Ozarka. Ozarka. Uh, Fiji's good. Mm-hmm. Don't say Dasani. Dasani and Aquafina are, are trash N- water. No one likes those. I just got to say, if you drink Aquafina or Dasani, you're trash. You're trash. You drink garbage water. You drink lake water. Mm -hmm. And I see why your parents got a divorce. Unfiltered lake water. And your parents divorced because of it. You were raised wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, There are things... You have serious problems. Mm -hmm. There are really things... You should should talk to a professional. Um, Ozarka bad. It's leaking. I mean, no, Ozarka good. Dasani bad. (laughs) Aquafina bad. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, Aquafina, Dasani... Fun you know, I fact. feel like they're kind of the same. Thing. I was going to say, fun fact about those. So, you know, the shape of the bottle of uh, Aquafina is the shape of the bottle of Aquafina is similar to a Pepsi bottle. And the shape of the bottle of um, Dasani is shaped like a Coca Cola bottle. Because. Okay. I can picture it. Their water is made from both companies, respectively. Wow. They're very on brand, huh? Mm-hmm. And very they both on suck. Brand. And they both <laughs> suck, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I think, I'm pretty sure that Aquafina and Dasani, um, I think, I, no, I don't want to say anything. I, I know Dasani and Aquafina, though, they are pretty much filtered tap water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, 
Bad. You know, Ozark is spring water, baby. There was actually a study that they add salt to the water to make you thirstier after you drink. I believe it. Dasani. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. It's fucked. Um, Have you ever seen those, like, the tests that they do with the different waters and stuff? Yeah. You know? It's crazy. This is this is tur- this is turned into some water talk. Yeah, really. It's like wa- the water talk. Yeah, I'm the water sommelier all of a sudden. Have you seen that guy, the water sommelier <laughs> I have. On, on TikTok? No, <laughs> no. the yeah. water sommelier. No, he he can drink different waters and, and tell and tell which ones which. Yeah, it's crazy. He's actually literally a water sommelier. It's pretty pretty wacky. Um, I'm changing careers. Yeah, Elon Musk is ruining the environment, though. Yeah. So you know that's horrifying. Fuck you, Elon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn you. And I tell you what, now, if you come around my side of town. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do, I do. Let's get into some general music news. Have yeah. you seen this? Whoa. Yeah, re- read this for us, Dave. So, um, according to the Media Zone, TMZ. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that what TMZ stands for? The Media Zone. You're joking me. Real life. We're having a lot of revelations. Revelations. This, episode, this is a great gentlemen. podcast. We're finding out a lot uh, of things. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so it looks like Britney Spears, uh, this is about Britney Spears, there's a video of Slap shows she taped Victor. Tapped. Never. She I'm sorry, it, guys. Never grabbed him. This is. <laughs> um, if, yeah. Have you heard about this? Britney Spears got I've slap, literally boy. never seen this. Like, he's got a slap. She got the snot slapped out of her. So let's go ahead and take a peek here. Let's see what at, happened. Um, good old Britney Spears mm-hmm. getting whacked. Oh. Whoa. Yep. Brit, Brit. So pretty much, uh, I, I don't know who the dude was, but it's it, it's some famous person, right? I yeah. don't know. I don't, I don't be keeping up with all these famous people. Oh, no. Run that back. I want to see the slap yeah, no, again. There was a... He said, bitch, here, get away from me. You know, some tall people. She's going up to hey. him. She taps on him. Bitch. Boom. Get slapped. Bitch, get out of my face. So, yeah. Get out of here. No, that's crazy. Uh, how you feel if that was your girl? If that was my girl? What you do? And somebody slapped her? What you doing if she gets slapped? What you doing <laughs> if she gets slapped but the dude is like four times your size? Well, that's even better because these bullets, they work for every size. Uh, I, uh, I meant a 22 on you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbits and squirrels. No, but... Uh, that's crazy. What the heck? Why did she uh, get slapped? So it looks like um, Britney Spears is speaking out about the video of her um, approaching Victor Valderrama. That, that's Juan Dubanyora. Uh, and uh, is being like slapped that, right? by the security guard. She says um, in her experience that she's never seen security um, hit another person. Well, it was the first time for everything. And um, I, I got to say... They've definitely hit plenty of people. Her security, I guarantee it. Get the fuck away from her! Definitely hit plenty of creeps. Let's be honest. So, um, the singer says that she's seen the video and describes her reaction and says that the sli- that the slap is priceless. Wow. Um, is that like a compliment? She's like, yeah, I got slapped. It she's was like, priceless. Any news is good news, huh? <laughs> Keep her relevant. But yeah, Brittany points out that she's been in the limelight all her life and hung around huge bands like NSYNC. It says none of the security guards protecting the celeb she's been around ever did what Wembley did. Can you believe that? They smacked me. They l- I'm Britney Spears. Do you know who I am? I'm Britney, bitch. <laughs> it is bold to immediately reach around and, and just smack somebody. But at the same time, I mean, I don't even know who this guy is, to be honest. Mm-hmm. But... um. And if you really think about it, that could be like a crazy fan. And Brit- be, Britney look, Spears does just look like any other person. They got a close so up. So it's of, like <laughs> the slap zoomed in. Moments before, before chaos. Ah, Britney. At this moment, she knew. She, she fucked up. up. Nah, but for real though, she did. <laughs> Freaking Britney. Britney freaking Spears, dude. What happened to her? She got out of her conservatorship, right? Yeah, her dad doesn't own her anymore. Such a weird concept. Have you seen, have you seen uh, her videos, though, recently? Of her acting like a maniac? Yeah. Like an NPC? Yeah. Maybe uh, Maybe the conservatorship was 
the the right idea. better idea. Ma- maybe they had the right idea. There. Yeah, you know what I mean. She looks like a thirteen-year-old um, who never got to experience childhood, but is now grown up. That's I think that's exactly what it is. Actually, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure well, it that's exactly sense. what it is. Um, it all makes sense now. Yeah. No. Imagine. I mean, imagine getting being like the biggest celebrity in the world, and you're fucking thirteen years old, fourteen years old. Or, yeah. I, I mean, she was. Wasn't she, she was on uh, Disney or something, right? Yeah, Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, is yeah. that what it was? With Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera. Really? Wait, yeah. Christina From, Aguilera was on there? Yeah, that was like a lot of people. Uh, let me really? let me fact check this. I know Justin Timberlake was. Were they part of- I think of, Ryan uh, Gosling was there too, crazy enough. Really? So yeah, I mean, what, what, seven years old, eight years old or something like that? And then, oh yeah, so that's what it was. She was a part of the Mickey Mouse Club. Mickey Mouse Club with Christina Aguilera, Ryan Gosling, and Justin Timberlake. That's the one, the mm-hmm. Mickey Mouse Club. What, what what was that about? Um, was that literally a, like a Disney thing? Mickey Mouse. There was like a show, or what? yeah, I've never looked into it. I've never but looked into it either. I've heard some C Uh-oh. theories about it, Uh-oh. conspiracy theories about it. Some so. Some grooming Walter theories. Disney is a well-known Freemason. Really? And um, well known by me. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he cut his head off? And he like preserved his head. When left he it in, under the under the. His head's floating around in a jar or some shit, ready to come back to life. But okay, go and he's a Freemason. Yeah. And- um. So there's this thing that Freemasons do, um, where if you want your child to also be a Freemason, um, they call these demolays. D e M O L A Y. It's a youth serving organization for young men ages twelve to twenty one. Oh, for a second there, I thought you were like saying what the the abbreviation was. Okay, yeah. So it's called a D, it's for. called a D Mole, and um, pretty much you can get the kids while they're young and just be like, hey, this is the way to go. And if you know anything about masonry, their secrets. I mean, masonry as in putting walls up and shit. Exactly. <laughs> oh wait, is that's that what the you're big secret. About? No, Freemasonry. No. <laughs> That's what the uh, G stands for, and the the they'll com- put your the wall, compass. They'll put your wall there for free. The compass and the the level and the the square. The compass and the square. Uh, yeah. I, Shout I out, out to all my masons out there. Shout out to all my masons. <laughs> no, I mean Freemasons isn't a cult, right? We were talking about cults earlier. Freemasons isn't a cult. Isn't cult just short for culture? <laughs> <laughs> what is a cult? Yeah, I mean, what is a cult? Honestly, is a family a cult? It could be. Who knows? It could be. What about a neighborhood? You it to be. Um, no, but f- so Freemasons were involved in the Mickey Mouse Club or what? Because yeah, so I was Walt saying he was a Freemason. Yeah, he was, and then the children. That's that's what I'm theorizing, when and did a you lot say of a de- a demo a, a demole demole. Yeah, so that's like the kid version. Okay, and then they grow up and they're like, oh, I'm I'm a big kid now. I'm a big Mason. Yeah, and then you can rank up. But yeah, um, I don't want to talk too much about it because... <laughs> about Mickey Mouse Club? Well, I mean, apparently they had Christina Aguilera, uh-huh. they had Justin Timberlake, they had Britney Spears. Who else did you say? Wasn't there... There, there was one... Um, there was about... another one, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera. Ryan Gosling. Aguilera. Ryan Gosling. Yeah, just a few names. Not like... You know, just a bunch of nobodies, really. They're all just friends who just met somewhere <laughs> one time. A bunch of nobodies, dude. But, uh, the hell yeah. And then, uh, you know, that little girl on Mickey Mouse Club grew up and got bitch slapped by a security guard. So yeah. that's fun. Heck yeah. Shout out, Brit. Shout out, Brittany. Man, she was the biggest thing in the world. It, wouldn't that be crazy to be like one of the most famous people in the whole world? And then now you're just like the the crazy lady that got smacked by someone's security guard. Yeah. People are watching you on TikTok, like, Laughing. go insane live. Yeah. No, her videos are insane. Even the ones that she makes, like, purposefully, where she's like. Do you think kids today would, would know if you're like, do you know who Britney Spears is? Do you think, like, a seven-year-old would know who Britney Spears is? Because there was part of me, I was thinking about it when I was when I was looking at this, and I kind of feel like kids these days wouldn't even know who Britney Spears is, you know? Yeah, you most likely. You bring Britney Spears to them, and they would, they would have no idea. Yeah, because it's like, Who? Back in the day, though, back hey, two thousand seven. Yeah, she was. She, he, she. I think like before two thousand seven. I think she was I mean, already. Two thousand seven, she seven, shaved though, her you know? hair. 
how old were you in 2007? Uh, uh, like, uh, 11? Hey! You saw that? Great My guess. eyes were closed. Y'all saw that? Mm -hmm. My eyes were closed. Um, but yeah. What a fall from grace, you know? Yeah. What, what a, a shame. What a fall from grace. She said that slap was priceless. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> well... Sticking on the music topics, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll hit you with one more segment. Um, and obviously, you know, we got to come back with our little album reviews here. Oh, we're yeah. not gonna leave y'all hanging. Mm -hmm. We gave a couple albums last week. Um, we're doing a new little segment here. Uh, I gave Dave an album he's never heard. He gave me an album mm -hmm. I've never heard of. We listen to each other's albums, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're coming back, and we're gonna convene. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have. Uh, you know, an AA meeting. Mm -hmm. Clear, clear your mind, <laughs> open your heart. Exactly, you it know? works if you work it. Um, but yeah, be honest. And uh, so, last week I gave him "I Hate Myself" by PHF, mm -hmm. and he gave me Twenty Three by Slater. So Great we'll start projects. with you. Yeah. Okay. What did you think? Well, I liked it. Um, I took a couple notes here. So PHF, first of all, stands for Pretty Hair Forever. True great guys great Fact. guys I, I know them personally not really but um so this album um i like it it kind of starts off slow and hard mm -hmm. and uh then it gets kind of groovy it's mm -hmm. almost like beach beachy kind of vibes and it slows at the end and it's a uh, it's like a good like a good mellow fade out i kind of like it i, I kind of got like some waves influence do you know waves Waves. The band W A V V E S. Mm -mm. I'm gonna maybe, put you hey, on. I'm maybe. gonna put you on. Um, my favorite songs were Glue, Huff, mm -hmm. I Hate Myself, and Lack of Interest. Yep. Um, uh, I like songs like this. Like, if you guys haven't heard this, you should definitely go check it out. But it's like an indie rock kind of, uh, or more like a punk rock mixed with like a a beach kind of sound like yeah what kind of genre would you even give it because i don't even know it, uh, it was a little bendy what, what is it it's what it's a little bendy like a bendy? genre bending is that a genre oh yeah. genre bending yeah i see i, I, th I thought you meant bendy as in a genre called bendy <laughs> but i like a genre called bendy i do like uh songs like that like i like music like that because you can say stuff like the analogies like the they're fucking insane um which actually made me think of one um I'm curious here what uh what genre are they you think what would they qualify as and Maybe. if you didn't listen to last week's episode and you didn't get this wreck pause the episode right now go, go listen back. to this album go no. listen to 23 by uh -huh. slater pause right now come back you'll know what we're talking about Welcome back to the show. Okay. Um, now you've listened to the albums. Now you can follow along correctly. And here we are. We, we don't sound like crazy people. So I like this album because, uh, like, or I like music like this, in spe like specifically like the front bottoms, waves, mm -hmm. uh, like just different types of oh, songs would, like that. So you would put waves in the same kind of category as yeah. the front bottoms and stuff? Because I've heard of front bottoms before, too. Okay, so I'd put waves in a more, yeah, I guess it, it's almost more psychedelic, I guess. They have, mm -hmm. like, acid type songs and... Um, don't do drugs, kids. But if you know, if you know, you know. Coming from the but, guy uh, wearing red glasses, right? Yeah. Um, I wrote this down. I was like, this is like something I could see as a lyric in, in a song like that. You're like swallowed gum. It'll take seven years to get past you. Was that an actual lyric? No, that's just something that I wrote. Oh. I was like, this sounds like something mm. they would say. Because it's like. That's creamy, dude. Creamy, right? Hell yeah. That's cute, bro. Yeah. And long story short, I enjoy the album I Hate Myself by PHF. I give it a 7.8. Okay. one. I, I was going to actually say one ten. to five stars. Yeah. Oh, one to, one to, out of five? Yeah. You say one to five stars. Four stars. Four stars, huh? Yeah. Okay. Good Acceptable. stuff. Check it out. Acceptable. It is a good album. It's hard to get a five-star album, to be honest. Yeah. What's a five star album to you? You think what what what's the line here? What are we trying to hit? Oh, I think let five me think. star album. Um, man, that's a tough one. Yeah, I, I'm stumped com now. Comment below your uh, w w what's like your perfect five star album. What's the five star We'd love album? To hear. 
we'd love to hear it. I, I I'll definitely read them because mm-hmm. I'm I'm trying to think now. What what would be like a perfect album? You think? Um, like, goodness gracious, like. I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is like one of the the Beatles albums. Maybe. I was gonna say like um, a Beatles or something like. Oh, I know. Um, the Carter Three by Little Wayne. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Five stars. I'm sure you'll have a lot of people agree with you on he that. He sold 1.5 1. 1. million copies in the first week. Okay, that's what I was about to say. Was that hence, the, that was like the first day or something? Hence the yeah. song a milli, a milli, a milli. Yeah, man, it was made about that. Um, I don't know what I would set my bar at to be honest. I don't know. That's I'm not gonna. One, I'm not gonna that's lie. That Waves album. That might be the next one I have you listen to because there's no skips on it. Okay, I've never even heard of them, so you're gonna that'd okay. be a great one. You're gonna love it. Um, as far as last week's recommendation from mm-hmm. you, I had Twenty Three by Slater. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay, yeah, so describe it. Right in. Des- describe it for the folks. I did not. Uh, I guess you you took actual notes. I didn't take actual notes. I'm not as diligent. Um, <laughs> they, I, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm a real piece of shit, you know, <laughs> um, but pretty much my impression of the album, I'll go ahead and say right off the bat, it was good. It was good. But <laughs> there we go. There's always a but. I got to say, I liked I, I did like the album, right? Mm-hmm. Stylistically, it's very it, it's nice. It's groovy. It's chill. You can have it on. You can have it on the background. You can be jamming to it. Um, but one thing that I did notice with all of this, pretty much all of the songs, is that I was really into the first, it was like the first 30 seconds or so. And then after that, it's pretty much like when the drums and the, the vocals hit that I got kind of confused, <laughs> you know, because the instrumental and I feel like it, I feel like it doesn't match as well as it could have. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The drums and the the instrumentals um i did like it they were vibes but there were times in there where i was like i feel like it could have it could have melded better it's like these things don't go together i wasn't like a huge fan of the drums so because it's almost like a it was odd like a hip-hop bass mixed with like some sort of socal surfer boy and Like 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 vibey stuff but the drums are more uh like uh, trap almost trap like yeah yeah more like trap drums over like a a vibey kind of thing going on but also a lot of the times i i didn't really know what he was saying either (laughs) (laughs) so you know and i i get that's what i'm saying it is a vibe and i'm one of those people when i'm listening to music it's like most of the time i don't know what the i don't really pay attention to what the fuck they're saying either yeah it's like i'm just like vibing the melodies and stuff i'm one of those people so um, but yeah, it kind of, it, it clashed a little bit for me, the drums with the instrumental mainly, it was mainly the drums, the vocals a little bit, but mainly the drums. <laughs> yeah. It was good though. I had a I, feeling you were going to say the voice yeah. and the, and the beat. That's yeah. what I <laughs> really, you, yeah, you already dude. knew, you already knew. I knew what it was when I gave it to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's good. It is good. Right. But, yeah. And that's a handsome man too. Right. That's, yeah. We pulled it up last week. Oh yeah. Y'all remember? Y'all remember? <laughs> the pouty lips. <laughs> There's your one for this episode. Um, right at the end. Right, right at, at the, the end, end. Had, yeah. Had to have one there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so one to five stars. I'll give it a three. A cool three? Right in the middle. A cool three right in the middle. Right, right in the, you know, give it a little hump day score. It is Wednesday, All so, right. you know, yeah, I'll give it that. But uh, yeah, it was good, though. Recommend it to everybody. Go ahead and, you know. Check it I, out. I mean, I w- I'm not going to wreck it because you already listened to it. Yeah, of course. You already went back and listened to it when I told you to, right? Like mm-hmm. you paused the episode and listened to I mm-hmm. Hate Myself and 23 and then came back and kept watching the episode. And by the way, PHF and Slater, since you guys are watching this, we love it. Great stuff. Keep it going. Keep I it love up. it. Come on the show. Come on Do the a show. a live performance. Yeah, Shit. live performance. Hey. We got you. It, you know, Diamond is in front of you in the line, right? It'll be Diamond and then you. We gotta get Diamond the original. We first. have our we have our priorities straight here. Diamond the original, still open invite. We'll get this place Pull lit up, up. Shorty. Um, but yeah, we need to come up with a name for that segment. Yeah, right. What could it be? Let's see. Let's give it twenty seconds here. Um, something album review. 
Um, I think we could do, uh, uh, call it the old switcheroo. The old switcheroo album review? Switcheroo album review. Switcheroo. Because it's like, boom, we got the music, we got the... We're, we're doing a, a drug deal, but, but with music. Um, let's see. Uh, I j uh, j um, the best of all time. Boat. Retention just dropped. Yeah, no, I was gonna, <laughs> we're cutting all of this. There's yeah. no way. Um, and yes, we're gonna come up with a segment. Uh, the name we'll for the segment. We come up with a name. We, we get, come we up with a name. Good for the twenty segment. seconds. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm. It made it made me melt inside there. So, we'll come up with a name. I think. I think that, that we'll was ask ChatGPT. Honestly, yeah, ChatGPT could definitely come up because it's a generative that. program transformer. So it's like. Whoa. Uh, Whoa, you smart know, guy over here. It does what it does. Dave's a genius all of a sudden. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Who'd have thought? Boom. So in the next episode, you can catch us giving new wrecks. I'll give him a new wreck. He'll give me a new wreck. And uh, hopefully we can come up with a, a name for the segment. Heck yeah. That'd be kind of cool. If you have name recommendations for the segment too, go ahead and leave them in the comments. But, but um, I guess uh, that was, in, that was until the then. Switcheroo album review. Yeah. <laughs> Working title. <laughs> Working title. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, you know we got Cyclops over here. <laughs> so yeah, Britney got smacked. Britney what got a shame. smacked. Slater made an all right album. PHF made a good album. Pretty decent, yeah. And you know chickens have stable heads, and Elon took a dump in our river. That's Granny. Shame. That's Granny's recap right there. That's 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 an old granny recap. But uh yeah, thanks everybody for watching. You know, we really appreciate it. We got this Bye. guy. We got the fly. Bye friends. Oh. We're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to name him. He's gonna be part of the podcast now. We could He's call, hired. He's we gonna could, be my co producer. <laughs> I think we should name him Gerald. Gerald, huh? Mm-hmm. Gerald. Oh, damn. Gerald Ford. That was a president, right? Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. Peace. We're out.